Hi everyone, in this video we're talking about host protected area. So this query question, what is host protected area was sent by one of the subscribers. So here it is. And so we're going to talk about what it is, what is the benefit, uh, why do we have it, all of that. And as you know, I like to break down the concept. Um, I, I like to give illustrations, right? So that you can actually understand the concept. Even if it is technical concept, I think we can always find uh, like real life examples to so that we actually feel connected with the with the topic and which in turn helps in better understanding understanding it so let's start first of all what it is host protected area or HP HPA well host protected area as its name suggests is an area or a space which and this this area is protected okay and it is actually not visible so the protection to this area is given by hiding it okay let's dive in a little deeper now so host protected area or hpa is part of hard drive okay so this area or this space is actually present or present on hard drive right a hard drive as you know is used to save data it could be an internal or external hard drive right just to expand the storage of a computer external hard drive we can use so it, it, it's the it's the primary primary uh, primary storage device okay so in in maximum systems C or C drive is the primary hard drive. It stores operating system files, uh, many other applications, important ones, and you can add other removable media, uh, which can be, it can be represented with not hard drive. I mean, the other media, if you wanna add removable media, uh, can be represented with A, B or F in certain cases. So it could be that you're not using removable media such as tape drives or other other media, media, but as you install them, new partitions get created and they're assigned to drive ladders such as F, or G or D right and so HPA HPA is on the hard drive and it's not visible to the user because it is protected area of hard drive it is not visible to the user or even to the operating system okay so user can't really store files in it all right why why uh, do we have this area what are the benefits why do we have it the benefit of using using hpa is that data stored in it cannot be changed it cannot be tampered with nobody can modify it easily and when you actually buy a system the advertised capacity of hard drive is usually more than more than what is actually shown so if it says a specific number on a hard drive a capacity of hard drive it's actually because uh, the host protected area is hidden so you can you don't know that space you don't know the capacity or GBs of that space, right? Because it's in GB, right? Uh, so let's say if your hard drive is, so I'm taking an example, okay? So let's say if it shows that, uh, let's say uh, the number says it's 200 GB, 
So it could be that it is in reality 300, but the 100 GB is not be, is not shown there because it is protected. Okay, and uh, so and because this area is not visible to anyone, um, special tools are special techniques and tools are uh, needed required to access it there are also commands to access this area okay and wait a minute another benefit of this area is that vendors can install necessary files that can help in uh, recovering uh, the operating system in the future or you know sometimes if, if there are any problems in the system so vendors can actually store the store the files that can help system regain uh, help system work again in its full capacity vendors can store those files that will help system work better in this area okay that's another benefit right um, another benefit um, yeah and uh, right yeah because these files will not be tampered with right and 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 yeah I do remember it is also very important this part this HPA part it, it's very important in uh, digital forensics uh, to find the evidence with, with respect to any you know uh, given scenario whatever is going on so it's it's very important in digital forensics as well right and so uh, speaking of its accessing mechanisms well in some cases it is requested that host protected area should not be there on the hard drive why so that users can have like whole space user can use the entire space so to access this area first it is determined if it is present in the system if it is present on the hard drive okay so for that there are many identification tools and there are forensic toolkits available and then there are certain commands also and so once it, it is identified that yes it is there then it can be accessed using these tools and commands um, there and there are also number of methods to create this if it is not present on a hard drive there are ways to create uh, create it on a, on a hard drive okay and uh, I do remember so these are the tools you can use commands tools forensic toolkits and all of that to create it to create a host protected area on a hard drive or now to identify if it is present already on hard drive and if it is there how to access it you can use these tools and com tools and commands obviously I'm not talking about specific tools or specific commands but yes you have to use certain commands or tools for it and uh, I also uh, remember DCO uh, device configuration overlay this is also part of a uh, hard drive uh, which is not accessible so device configuration over overlay is also uh, somewhat like host protected area uh, DCO is also not uh, it is also um, part of hard drive and it is also not accessible it is hidden too okay but uh, the question was about host protected area and I really hope it helped um, so that's it for today let me know if it was helpful and uh, if you're new here please subscribe to the channel like this video and I'll see you next time if you have any questions feel free to let me know I'll be glad to help see you next time take care